what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Got Josie here again with me today. And uh, today, I don't know how this is gonna, like frame-wise, I don't know how this is gonna be. But anyway, we're gonna start stripping apart this Miata and cutting it up. And I don't know if you've heard me in previous videos, but uh, it's just gonna be a Miata cart, a yard cart is what I called it. But uh, most, definitely, most definitely it's gonna look like a go-kart. So we're going to pull the fenders off today, the doors, and we're going to start some cutting on it, but we won't finish it today. And uh, we'll pull the trunk off, and like I said, we'll start cutting there and uh, cleaning it up. But, yeah. Alright guys, so we got the uh, front off already, the two fenders and the two doors. I'll go ahead and show you that. And he is working on the, getting the battery out and then we can go and start uh, maybe cutting on this side, maybe cut that piece off the front or whatnot. But uh, yeah, we're getting some progress here. So yeah, so this is going to be fun. And by the way, I've always wanted to do something like this. I've never had like an extra Miata to do it like this. This is like a $400 Miata. And originally I bought it for the Gambler and that's what I built it for. So it was kind of perfect, you know, perfect timing because I retired it from the Gambler after this year and now I'm just going to cut it up and play with it like a go-kart. <laughs> this would be fun. <laughs> I don't think I have any more. Josie about to tear in this thing. The saws off. We're just kind of winging it at this point, and we're just gonna start chopping in sections and go from there. Hopefully it works. And yeah. No going back now. <laughs> the biggest blade you could get me, huh? <laughs> What's up guys? So just gonna give you an update on the, the Miata. We started to gradually cut pretty far. We've got everything pretty much stripped off. Hello Josie. <laughs> and I haven't started on the front. I did cut this little piece off that I broke with the Jeep. But we're starting to cut the skin off. As you can see right here, I stopped. Uh, I gotta get earmuffs. It's like way too loud. But yeah, we're just gonna show you the progress. I'm trying not to move around a lot because I did notice some shutter, some sh uh, frame shutter, and um, I don't know, exactly know what you call it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% on um, uh, camera still, so I'm still trying to figure everything out. But anyway, there's a lot of shutter or frame drop is what uh, 
I would usually call it on like PC or something like that. It seemed like there was a bunch of frame drop during uh, the last video. And I think it was because I was moving in and out of dark areas and moving the camera around a lot. And I do notice this in a lot of videos, but there's really nothing I can do about it. So I'm shooting at 120 frames per second to see if that helps. And we're in 20, uh, uh, 2700K because I can't shoot 120 frames per second on 4K on the GoPro Hero 6. So 2700K, 120 frames, we'll see if that'll be a little bit better. But anyway, just to get started with this um, cutting the Miata out. We're still working on that. And uh, yeah, so let's get to that. I'm just winging this I watched a YouTube video on it and the one guy that I watched he did like the whole rear in one thing so he somehow cut and it pulled the whole rear section off and it was pretty wild how he did it so like I said I am just winging it so I'm gonna try and go by that line and also uh, cut it in just pieces. I'm not look, looking to chop this thing off in one piece. Obviously, I'm not. So, still piece by piece on the whole chopping deal. But yeah, it's coming. It's coming along. I got the skins off. Now I got like a, a better example of what to look at and where to cut on like this part and going backwards. I do want to keep like this flap here. Cause I've seen people cut it off, I've seen people keep it, so that's just, I don't know, perspective I guess? I don't know. I'm thinking about chopping it off, but again, I'm thinking about keeping it because mud and so far I'm getting this. Or I could just build a mud flap, I guess. I don't know, we'll, we'll, get, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But I'm going to try and chop off this section, and I got it undid with gas and hoses, and do that. I also watched him chopped through here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where he chopped them, so, yeah, anyway, we'll go from there, and we'll try it like that, I may just, see the gas tank's right here, and I don't want to get anywhere near it, so I'm trying to do my best to stay away from it. Here's 
here's the last bit of work I've done to it. It's got the skin completely off. And then all this cut out, this little section cut out. I've got the uh, gas tank or the gas neck removed. See it wiggling? I just gotta pull it out and I'm gonna cut all this off. I'm gonna chop it here first, right there, like I did over here. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this whole piece moves because I've chopped it. And then I'm gonna chop it over there, and remove, remove this piece, and we'll go from there and cut all this stuff out. That stuff, and then we can continue down through here. I'm gonna try and keep this piece. I wanna keep this because the roll bar connects to it and then connects down here. So I'm trying to keep this. I'm gonna go like along the side and around and then take all this off. Keep the gas tank, so I take this thing off the top of it. And yeah, so, and I'm also trying to trim all this off too. So I guess next video will be, you'll see that. So thanks for watching part two. Stay tuned for part three of this series of turning this thing into a go-kart. Peace.